Um, it's a bit of an exciting day today. I'm going out without children with David. Hot date, I know. No, really. We are going to an FASD conference. Jeff Noble. Jeff Noble is like the awesomest advocate and educator in FASD in the world. He's like Jeff Noble from Canada. So I'm really, really excited. And it's booked out. We were lucky. Hi, David. He's been to the and Zena's here to babysit. Okay. Okay. She looks like a responsible adult, don't you think? <laughs> when I lack in responsibility, I make up for an ex mum. Bye. Bye, everyone. I'm just going to take my makeup. You know, I can't meet Jeff Noble without makeup on. But it's a fake Okay, no, you're not coming, Baba. You're going to Zena. You're going to Zena. <laughs> Oh, we got to go, darling. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sweet. Bye -bye. Oh, there's a child. Okay. Oh, I love you. I love you. Bye-bye. Be good for Zena. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Look, let's start off our hui today. The mihi whakataua in a karaki to be our day going. In a mana, in a reo, ki nga koutou katoa. He mihi ki te tangata whenua o tēnei rohi, ki e tai mui. He mihi ki a koutou katoa. He nā koutou, te nā koutou, te nā koutou katoa. We're also going to talk about finding your aha moment. Now what I want you to do with your eyes closed is I want you to picture your brain. And I learned this from Diane Melvin. It's, it's actually in her book. Uh, it's in her book. So picture your brain. What does your brain look like? Get that picture of your brain. And then get that picture. Once you have that picture of what your brain looks like, I want you to picture what does your brain look like when it's working? What is that picture of your brain? What does it look like when it's working? Now what I want you to do is I want you to open up your eyes and I want you to draw that. What? Yeah. What? My brain is an electric circuit board, and these are all the little circuits talking to each other. Uh, uh, different parts of the brain doing different things, coordinating the thinking, movement, uh, basic function, and they're all interact as the neurons and currents go between each. That's pretty deep. Mine looks like Australia. <laughs> And then after you go to the washroom, you have to have a shower. How many steps are there in having a shower? Right? And whatever is logical is the answer, right? That's how he rolls. Yeah. We're going to look at fetal alcohol that same way. <laughs> and uh, Amanda was the very first family that I ever worked with uh, in my entire life. So after I, I took the uh, uh, FASD certificate course, uh, of course, one of the four things, as we know, is that coaching and support is good. We finished up, and um, it's pretty awesome. And we're going to get home, and we've got a boy to pick up, too. OK, right. We had a good day. We're enthused. We're on for another day. We're ready to jump back on the wheel. So we're on our way back to pick up our boy and then we're going to go home and Zena's looking after the rest of the kids. Um, seriously, we've had an awesome day. It's been a long day and a lot of information and some of it we knew and some of it we needed refreshing but lots of cool fresh ideas as well and um, feeling inspired. So guys, if you ever get the opportunity to hear Jeff speak, Jeff Noble, do get along but meanwhile do follow him on Facebook you know it doesn't matter whether or not you're a caregiver of someone with FASD or if you have FASD yourself or or it's just something you really do need to learn more about because there's so many people in the world that have this and um, just changing the way we think having a paradigm shift in the way we think and how we respond to people with certain behaviors that we've struggled with in the past, it is just going to make such a huge dif huge difference and everybody will be a lot happier. So I'm going to link um, uh, his Facebook page down below, so do check it out and um, you might learn a few cool tips and tricks from there. That's it from me and that's it from him. Bye. Bye for now. Remember to, you know, like, subscribe, all that cool stuff because I really like having you guys around. Bye for now.
They just can't tell you what's going on. They're not going to show you what's wrong. They're not going to tell you, but they'll show you through the symptoms. They'll show you through behaviors, right? When things aren't going well, they're freaking out. That's when you know the environment isn't good. 